envisage beverage closure deals with two very important issues. First of all, as we've said, the uh, cost reductions of uh, around about 59 million uh, dollars or more. And then importantly, it also will reduce our, our capacity by in the region of 500,000 tons. Now that's significant and in itself will, in our opinion, lead to a much better uh, balance in terms of supply and demand in the European market, which indeed we hope will also uh, give us better pricing power. Let's take a look at the potential that you see in Africa and the Southern African region. We had an improved performance here, also benefiting from those higher pulp prices. Mondi recently indicating that they're concentrating, starting to increase their focus on the African uh, growth story. What is your outlook for SAPI on the continent? Our outlook for our South African business is a very, very positive outlook to the extent that uh, we've announced that we uh, increasing our production capacity of chemical cellulose by 210,000 tons. That's a significant uh, decision uh, by our board uh, and, and, and it shows our commitment to our chemical cellulose business and chemical cellulose customers. Um, our paper businesses in South Africa has been going through a tough time mainly as a result of uh, demand issues in the South African economy but also the very strong rand. But we're very positive that we uh, will also see a big improvement in the performance of that business going forward. We're also taking out costs in that business. Um, in the South African market, has huge potential for further growth, but importantly, we're a big exporter and will continue to do so, and thereby also earning foreign currency for South Africa. And the African story? African story for us is not one of major growth. Uh, it is one where we committed to it and we will grow um, those markets as the markets themselves grow and it's particularly in the packaging side uh, that we see growth there but also for office papers but uh, that in itself if one looks at where the real growth markets for us is in terms of volume it's more into Asia which is a very important market for us. Which markets particularly in Asia are you concentrating on and you, are you growing your production capacity there? No, not necessarily production capacity there, we're growing our production capacity in South Africa for export to those markets and it's all the eastern markets, we're talking about Indonesia, we're talking about India, we're talking about China, uh, Malaysia, all those are very, very important markets for us. Looking at the debt position of SAPI, you recently raised $700 million on the market. Now Moody's indicating that the company's rating is particularly strained by this elevated, uh, le elevated leverage with a debt to EBITDA around 4.2 times in December 2010. Your net financing costs for the quarter around $68 million US dollars. Debt to total capitalization, 54.8%, has been reduced slightly. What is your goal in terms of debt for the company and how you, what is your strategy to reduce your debt position? A very important part of our strategy relates to the management of our balance sheet, the reduction of uh, finance costs, and we're making good progress in terms of that. The recent refinancing, uh, I think, was very successful. It also came in at rates that are substantially lower than our previous issue. Um, and it is in line with our strategy to reduce our debt. We set ourselves a target of reducing our debt to below $2 billion by 2012. We're making good headway. At uh, the end of our quarter, it was at $2.4 billion. And I think if one takes into account the uh, weak dollar or strong euro and rand compared to the dollar, and the fact that uh, a big proportion of our debt is in either in euro or in rand, and converting that to dollars makes that number higher in dollars. Depending on where currencies go, we believe we'll uh, still be able to reduce uh, debt to below $2 billion ahead of our 2012 target by the end of this financial year. And then, very importantly, to reduce finance costs. As I said, the recent refinancing uh, was an important step towards that, but the major step change will happen when we deal with the 2014 maturities. And hopefully we can do that towards the end of 2012 or beginning of 2013. Let's just take a look at the broader market now. We're moving into an era, we have moved into a technology era. Uh, it's no secret that structurally the paper industry is facing challenges with demand for paper waning. What is it like to be a paper maker in this environment and where do you see SAPI in the future? Important question and I think we've, uh, in terms of our strategy, made it clear that we will remain committed to paper but on the basis where supply and demand is reason, uh, reasonably in balance. We've seen that in Europe 
uh, and in North America, we're making good improvements. We expect demand for coated paper in the developed countries to decline by between 1% and 2% per annum, and we need to react to that. America is a very good example uh, of a business doing well in a market such as that. What we need to do is get Europe to perform equally well, and these cost reductions and capacity reductions will deal with that. But importantly, there are many growth markets for SAPI, and this recently uh, announced uh, expansion of our chemical cellulose is a very good example of that. So in five to ten years from time from now, we expect SAPI to be less dependent on coated uh, fine paper for its revenues. It will be a better business, but a slightly smaller business. And our other businesses, non-graphic paper business, uh, businesses will be much larger. And uh, that's uh, important to us because those are fast-growing businesses with higher margins. How is SAPI also adapting to the increased environmental legislation that is coming through? We've got COP17 talks coming through again. You're moving to an era where carbon is going to be constrained and you're going to have to pay increasingly for the carbon footprint of your operations. How much are you spending on adapting to, these, to this legislation? Yeah, very important issue, not only in South Africa, but worldwide. And we're consistently spending in all areas um, of our environmental footprint. But we couple that to further uh, productivity increases as well. A good example of that is we've recently upgraded our recovery boiler at our Somerset Mill in North America. That is re reducing our uh, uh, fossil fuel usage at that mill quite substantially, but at the same time led to an increase in production and a lower ring of costs of production. Uh, in South Africa, the same is true. Every time we invest and maintain our malls, we do it on a basis where we also improve our env environmental footprint. Water is another area, uh, particularly in South Africa, I think, of big significance and, and, and high importance, which we'll continue to, uh, to invest in. We actually have a good story to tell in the paper industry, and although we use a lot of water, or we utilize a lot of water, a lot of that goes back into the systems cleaner than what we've taken out.